guys, welcome to another Tonics Tuesday. And I'm really excited because Pentatonics is releasing new music. We've got new Pentatonics. They're releasing or just released a six song EP called At Home, I believe is the name of it. Uh, I've reacted to Home. Uh, I'm pretty sure the whole thing is out. And it's really cool too because this, for the most part, this album was recorded, like arranged and everything over Zoom, over Skype, online. Actually, all of the songs, except for this song, the song I'm about to be reacting to, uh, Cologne. But the reason why they released it is really cool. Because they were supposed to have a an all-original album come out. The first one, I think, uh, since 2015, if I'm not mistaken. I was reading some article that somebody posted down in the comments, which I really appreciate. And it got delayed, of course, be, uh, due to COVID and everything going on in the world which is understandable, but they wanted to release something in the interim just for the fans. So the fans could have something to listen to, which is so cool. It's so neat. Like they didn't have to do that with COVID going on. It's understandable. I'm, I've had a few concerts canceled. I'm not mad at the artist for canceling. That's just outrageous. That would, that, that's a crazy thing to do. So it's not like they were going to lose fans pushing that album out a year year and a half, however long it happens to be, but they just wanted to do this nice thing for all of us fans. And that is super cool. They did not have to do that, but they did it. And that's awesome. Thank you so much, Panatonics. If for some reason one of you is watching this, I appreciate it. Let me know down in the comments. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is gonna be Cologne off of the At Home EP. And I am, I'm really excited because this is actually, uh, this is a Patreon request. Uh, my newest $5 patron, Landon, uh, requested that I react to this. And he actually compared it a little bit to like Love Again and Daft Punk, which is really cool because both of those were very like electronic influenced songs and they were both awesome. Uh, Love Again, I had no idea what to expect when I went into it and it became one of my probably top five favorite pentatonic songs, if not top three. It was so weird and awesome. And Kevin and Avi had this amazing thing going on through the whole thing. It was super cool. So yeah, because of that, because he kind of mentioned those two songs, my expectations are sky high for this track. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, uh, thank you so much, Landon. Uh, I really appreciate the support. And let's just go ahead and get into it. God, Kevin is so good. When I walk into the club and my feet start to rub Everybody thinks I'm weird, but the truth is I'm not When I'm in the studio and the 808 pops Everybody thinks I'm weird, but the truth is I'm not Then I let the music take control of me I let the bass run through me 808 plays to make a lot of the state I'm in, it's mind-blowing All the feelings that I'm feeling, love and everyone, it's amazing I wanna stop until I drop, I know I'm on top And now it's time to bow Let me see you Everybody thinks I'm weird, but the truth is I'm not Amazing when we party all night for the cause. When I watch you getting down, I forget all your flaws. If you fly into my life, it's so nice, it's full on. But the music takes us deep to the breaking of dawn.
Interesting. That okay, so I'm I'm gonna go ahead and assume that Pentatonix is doing the same Peter Holland's type layering here. Cause that sounded it sounded really good. You know what? Let, let, let's go ahead and get back. You know, I don't know if I'm crazy, but this almost sounded more like a super fruit song than a pentatonic song. Uh, it was really good. It was really catchy. It was definitely a, a club song. And watching it without a music video, which is something that I I don't think I've done with a pentatonic song. Or if I have, this is maybe the second uh, pentatonic track that I've reacted to that didn't have a video along with it. And just listening to it, like, it it sounded it sounded like uh, like you wouldn't even realize that it was a cappella which is cool but at the same time takes away a little bit of what brought me to pentatonix in the first place which was how amazing that they were as a cappella and, and even this like I, you could say that because this is so good it makes me think that it is just like a, a song with you know electronics and like made in a studio kind of a thing that that's just incredible acapella and and it is and it really is it's not taking anything away from that but i yeah i feel like if i was driving around and i heard this song come on the radio i don't i don't think i even would have connected that it was pentatonix right away I mean, maybe when Mitch came in in the chorus, which was really good. I feel like I haven't given Mitch enough credit in reactions recently, um, especially Superfruit ones. It's been much more about Scott. Uh, and if you guys haven't, don't know what Superfruit is, it's a really cool side project with Mitch and Scott from Pentatonix. Um, But I've been big up talking Scott just because I've finally come around, you know, in the last couple of months to just how incredible he is before... I listened to Pentatonix, it was all about Mitch. Oh, Mitch is just awesome. I was floored by him. And Scott just kind of fell by the wayside. And honestly, I, I kind of feel bad about that because Scott is so good. But yeah, Mitch in the chorus was fantastic. It was really good. It was a really good song, but I feel like I just... I know it wasn't produced, and I'm not going to say that it was overproduced, but I think it was almost too perfect and with the layering that was done which there has to have been layering that was done peter holland's type layering i uh, there's there's no way because the 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 it almost sounded auto tune but i would never say that pentatonix is doing that but how you get that is doing that peter holland's type thing but pentatonix doesn't necessarily need that and, and i know it's different and i know they're they're you know doing their own thing this is new pentatonix we haven't had new pentatonix in I'm gonna go ahead and say a while. Um, so good for them for kind of growing and experimenting more as a group, uh, doing that as much as you can, being an acapella group, uh, is because you know you'd think there'd be a limit, but seeing some of this, it's you would think there is no limit. They can do whatever the hell they want. Um, so that was really cool. It was really neat to see them do that. But overall, I don't think that this was one of my favorite pentatonic songs just because yeah it was just it was it was so different but you know that being said i would totally listen to this song again and i do plan on it but yeah this was this was very interesting this was a very interesting song very interesting track i don't know if it was an original or not i feel like all of the originals will be on that actual album that comes out whenever COVID is over um but yeah, that was, was very, very, very interesting. Uh, and if they didn't use any kind of layering and they've just learned how to do that with their voices, uh, then I was wrong. And I apologize for that. I'll be the first one to admit it. But I, I just don't see how that's possible. <laughs> it would be cool to see this done live, uh, just like Peter Holland. I would love to see a track of him doing something live seeing how he incorporates all the layers into a live performance um but yeah thank you landon so much uh for the recommendation uh, i really do appreciate it 
Um, if anybody knows what, uh, like, what's your favorite song off of this new EP? Like, let me know that down in the comments. I'll be really interested. And I'll probably have to react to that song and, and the rest of them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thank you all so much for uh, stopping out. Happy Tonics Tuesday. And I will see you all in the next reaction. Thank you.